friends, I am Dr. Sufla Saxena, consultant pediatric gastroenterologist and hepatologist at Manipal Hospital, Dwarka. During the pandemic, we have been seeing a rise in problems of abdominal pain in children. Most children who have never had any health issues are often complaining of recurrent abdominal pain, leading to increased anxiety and concern among their parents. Though majority of the problems are transient, but if not treated on time, can have a significant effect on their lifestyle. This has adversely affected their nutrition, that on one side, they have high risk of significant weight gain and obesity because of restricted physical activity and increased use of electronic devices for online learning and entertainment. Their screen time has definitely gone up, affecting their nutrition adversely. On the other hand, children who are malnourished are often said to be immunodeficient and have a greater risk of acquiring severe COVID-19 infection. Therefore, nutrition plays an important role in preventing these infections. In few cases of abdominal pain, when it is associated with vomiting, diarrhea or certain warning signs, it can be because of COVID-19. But in majority of cases of these recurrent abdominal pain, they are usually because of functional gastrointestinal disorders in children mainly or commonly I should say chronic constipation or functional dyspepsia. There is an increase in the incidence of constipation in children because of certain risk factors, decreased physical activity, decreased fiber and fluid intake and restricted uh, diet. All these are leading to problems of abdominal pain in children. Similarly, in functional dyspepsia, uh, or stomach upset, common stomach upset, children often complain of reflux symptoms or nausea or sometimes vomiting is being reported by older children. All that is because of dis disruption of their normal routine, lack of any social contact, unfamiliar distance learning and sometimes too much of stress and anxiety which are being faced by the children. It can be because of exams, studies or it some because of the hostile family, family environment that they face. Also, it is very important to remember that during the winter season, there is a limited sun exposure leading to worsening of vitamin D deficiency or they can cause a subclinical deficiency to become apparent. So it is important that we supplement all the children with maintenance dose of vitamin D during the pandemic. Finally, children or adolescents who, are, who have comorbid condition or pre-existing diseases like inflammatory bowel disease or liver disease and others who are undergoing therapies like immunosuppressive therapies or biological treatment may be at high risk of developing severe forms of COVID-19 disease with GI manifestation. So they need to have special care. Parental support, regular physical activity, well-balanced diet and timely treatment can help children suffering from recurrent abdominal pain and improve their quality of life.